Get out of my face. Lurks ain't got you yet, I see. You need some trading? We'll see you real soon. What are you looking at? What? What? Who the hell are you? That's so. You one of the newbies? You best know that passphrase, asshole. Well, you're dead. Very funny, asshole. You won't be laughing when I'm done with you. Damn, it's a fight! Hey! Hey, watch hey. out! Where the hell? You again? Y'all inter- Well, did you take care of whoever's behind the attacks on the caravans? Really? Oh, that's excellent. Thank you. As soon as I have a moment, I'll make arrangements to see to your reward. Yes, well, uh, I don't really have anything I can give you at the moment. I've simply, uh, run out of resources. Only a quarter of my escorts have made it back. I fear the worst. I'll send word to Bigsley, the Brotherhood scribe running things over at Project Purity. I'm sure the Brotherhood can reward you for your efforts. Now, if you'll excuse me... I have nothing to give you. Go speak with... Hey there! What is it this time? Cult? There's something about Megaton, isn't there? It's apparently THE place to start a cult these days. Hmm. Guess I can start sending them water again. Hopefully they can keep their grubby hands on their shipments this time. Here. It's not much. 
Most of the assets have been exhausted, but take this. It's definitely worth getting lions off my back. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, yes, I received a message from her. It's here somewhere. Yeah. Well, no matter where it is, I know what it said. <sighs> the Initiates just finished itemizing a requisition of confiscated Enclave gear. There were a few items that we didn't immediately send out. I suppose you're welcome to those. The Brotherhood thanks you for your efforts. Now, if you don't mind, I think I'll just take a brief nap here at my desk. Yes? I won't stop you. See you alive and well, madam.
wasn't expecting any visitors. My, my, my. You certainly do look a little bit worn out from your travels. Oh, just look at my terrible manners. I'm Agatha. It's so nice to meet you. Now, what brings you all the way out here? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm just fine out here. My husband, rest his poor soul, saw to it that our house was well protected from the elements and the inhabitants of the wastes. Well, that's kind of you to say. Yes, he's gone. After he built this place, we spent many happy years together. We decided to cut off contact with the outside world and just depend on each other for comfort and company. Oh, oh goodness, no. I have a supply caravan that passes here maybe once a week. I trade with them for whatever I need, and I stock up enough till they return. Besides shelter, well, I offer something in the way of entertainment. I play songs on my homemade violin, and people trade me goods. If not in person, I use my husband's old radio set. The men in the caravan say it keeps their morale up on lonely nights in the wasteland. Oh, you are a clever one. Yes, that's exactly the problem that I have with it. It doesn't quite play all of the notes correctly, and I have to constantly tinker with it. Yes, my husband was very proud of the setup. He tinkered with that thing for years to get it working. I've tried to use it to get whatever I need, but I've never gotten a reply. Thank you. Well, my husband had his hobbies. I'm afraid mine was making that sorry instrument. I only wish I could replace it with something better. But now that you mention it, um, yes, there is. My training depends on my violin. Without it, I have nothing to play, no way to make music. If you can bring me a violin, a better one, I'd feel much more secure. Yes, very sad, isn't it? Sad to think that no more musical instruments will ever be made the old way ever again. <sighs> well, fortunately, I know where perhaps the last real violin in the world exists. If you give me your word that you will recover it, I will tell you more. Oh, I don't think I've been this happy in years. I have some information that may help you, at least a place to begin. It all starts with my great-great-grandmother back in 2077 before the bombs fell. Of a kind, yes. Hilda sent a good deal of letters to my great-grandmother Mary, who passed them on, and so forth. I suppose the correspondence could be considered a diary of sorts. It certainly is a long time. That precious instrument has been through a lot. Anyway, Hilda was quite a special woman, classically trained and exceptionally talented at the violin. Her pride and joy was her Stradivarius violin. I can only imagine how exquisite this instrument must have been. When the war reared its head, she was invited by Vault Tech into Vault 92, they claimed the vault would be dedicated to preserving musical talent. vault Tech was always promoting the vaults being used for the preservation of the arts and all that nonsense. Hilda couldn't pass on a chance to meet many of the other musical talents of the world, so she accepted their invitation. Then the bombs fell, the vault was sealed, and my family never heard from her again. She kept it in a special pressurized case. Inside the case is the perfect temperature and humidity for the instrument. If the case is still functioning, the Stradivarius would be in perfect shape. 
Hilda Stradivarius was named the Swa Stradivarius. All of them had names. That's what I want you to get. That's the catch. I have no idea where it is. I'd suggest making our way to Vault Tech headquarters in the D.C. ruins. That would be a good place to begin. Good luck! She was quite a special woman. Hilda was her name. Classically trained and exceptionally talented at the violin. Her pride and joy was her Stradivarius violin. I can only imagine how exquisite this instrument must have been. When war reared its head, she was invited by Vault Tech into Vault 92. They claimed the vault would be dedicated to preserving musical talent. Happily, she accepted. After she entered Vault 92, the bombs fell. And the story, as I know it, ends. Not too much, I'm afraid. It was fabricated way back in 1714 by a famous Italian craftsman named Antonio Stradivari. He had made a bunch of Stradivarius violins, actually, and each one was individually named over time to identify them. They are regarded as the most outstanding instruments ever made, and no two sound alike, they say. Incredible. Since the bombs fell laying waste to most of the world, it may be safe to say that this could be the last surviving violin of its kind. Well, from my great-great-grandmother's diaries, I have deduced that she had a special pressurized case created for it. Hopefully, the Swa Stradivarius was in the case when she... Well, you know. I hope you're not thinking of doing anything dishonest. You gave me your word. Well, okay. I'm sorry. I wish I did. All I know is that Vault Tech intended it to be a protective environment for the world's musical talent. When the bombs fell, the vault was sealed and the rest is a mystery. Perhaps when you find it, you can find some sort of a record of what occurred inside. From what I gather, it's located in the ruins of D.C., I got the location from one of the supply caravans. They told me it had extremely high security and something they call a main frame inside. I'd imagine it's quite dangerous. I'd be careful if I was you. Be careful. I don't want to be responsible for getting you killed. Let me know if there's anything I... Watch it. Good to see you.
are trespassing. Resistance will only cause more. Alert. Alert.
Loading personality. Robco R3 creates the 3.1A factory. I don't believe we've met. I'm your factory foreman, Milo. It's a pleasure to meet you. Please give me your job posting title and employee registration number for my permanent records. The name is verified in my system with no existing or issued employee number. Voice stress pattern within normal parameters. Executive override protocol initiated. What may I do for you on this wonderfully productive day? Oh, and this facility is a stunning accomplishment by the creative minds of the Nuka-Cola Corporation. We use cutting-edge equipment to keep the world's most popular soft drink in full production, 24 hours a day. This unit prides itself on over 457 days without a single death or major limb loss of any personnel. This product is the pinnacle of taste sensation. 17 fruit flavors and that signature cola taste blend to form the perfect refreshing soft drink. With its new strontium additive, it's got that unique kick to keep you on your toes. 
That information is in the shipping computer terminal. Passcode for the terminal is NCC1864. Certainly, allow me to whip up a copy for you. There you are. Have a wonderful and productive day. Have a wonderful and pro... serve you, mistress. Here. You've done so much for us. I want you to have this. It's all I have to offer you. No, thank you. I hope things are going well.
you met Ronald, he, he's such a sweetie. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Did you find any quantum? Nope, sorry. You've done it! My machine is finally full! Well, like I promised, here's the schematic for the Nuka Grenade. You've sure earned it! If you find any more bottles, be sure and bring them by. I'll be glad to keep paying for them. Hiya! What you doing? Well, to the east there are some nasty raiders in Evergreen Mills. I'd stay away from there if I were you. Luckily, we're kind of hidden here under the old highway, so no one bothers us. Well, the stuff is so rare, I only know one. It's called Mississippi Quantum Pie. It's delicious! If you want me to make you one, I can. Just bring me some flour, vodka, and a Nuka-Cola Quantum. I can whip it up in no time. If you have the ingredients, I can make the pie for you. All it takes is some flour, vodka, and Nuka-Cola Quantum. That, sweetheart? Nah. Come to think of it, he hasn't even visited me in a while. I wonder why. Oh well, I'm sure I'll see him soon enough. Be careful out there, sweetie. <laughs>